Hello and welcome to some more Eternal Darkness. Uh, you just missed Alex weeping bitterly. Not bitterly, uh... I was gonna say pathetically, but that's not the word either. Ter terrifiedly is not a good word. It's not a word. But that. She's having a bad time. But I don't blame her. There was blood dripping from the ceiling. Anyway, let's read this. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. We're here again. I guess it's not Persia anymore. Maybe? When did they rename Persia? Survey the site quickly, dog, and maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly. And maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. Maybe I like it in this hole. Roberto must survey the ruins of this ancient temple. The rooms he must survey can be found on the map. Only when these areas have been inspected can the construction begin. When you first watched a play through this chapter more than any chilled you, oh my. The foundation for the monument has been constructed, but it has suffered some damage. The rest of the complex is unknown, and Roberto must discover if construction can continue. Yeah, sure, let's just build down here. It's definitely not infested with undead horrors. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, I see, okay, so there's X's where I have to survey, okay. So I guess I just have to keep looking at my map here. Nine out of ten characters get done dirty in this game. It's true. I mean, geez, uh, was Lindsay the only survivor so far? Well, I mean, I guess Maximilian, but eh, I, I don't know if you'd say he was not done dirty in that game. I guess I can't talk to this guy. Oh, yes, I can. A frantic worker looking for answers to questions that can't be answered. He hopes Roberta was there to save them and longs to see his family and friends once he escapes. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to escape from this place. They will definitely let us out of the hole. Anthony's probably gotten it the worst so far, yeah. Poor guy, he just wanted to help Charlemagne, and then he just had to sit in unending torment for several hundred years. I don't, I don't actually need to fight that, do I? I just probably amble past. There's nothing I have to survey here. Hello. Should Roberto try to survey this, I guess? The structure around here shows signs of distress. It is far from sound. Perhaps with some reinforcement, it might be able to suit the requirements of the monument. I love the item get fanfare for uh, reinforcing some stone pillars. This dude jogs like he's in a pool of jello. Maybe it's really humid down here. Like, 100% humidity in the hole. I guess I can't talk to these guys. Ooh. An old safe lies discarded on a nearby ledge. I am so sorry for weapon buffs that are probably appalled at how I am mispronouncing these. This is a safe. A curved Arabic sword with a distinctive pommel. The safe is the standard weapon of most Middle Eastern armies. 
We're all learning today. Yeah, Elia helped Dr. Lindsay, but Anthony just got killed again by a monk. But hey, at least he's not stuck in eternal torment. Oh, so maybe there's, there's nothing else I need in this room, right? My god, I wish you could see where your character was relative to everything else on the map. Like Wind Waker. Saif? That's, that's probably more correct. I wish I knew some Arabic. I had a coworker that could speak and write some. Such a pretty language. A lever is situated near the gate. Should Roberto pull the lever? Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, it's Ulia zombies. I thought I'd have to fight the Chaturga fellas. Goodbye. Alhambra is about the limits of your Arabic. There's a character by that name in... Oh, jeez, what was the game called? It was a turn-based tactical game by Atlas. Where it was Fire Emblem-esque, but you attacked by charging through enemies. And you could get multiple enemies in one round. It was really difficult, though. Like, to the point where it was really easy to die in the tutorial fight. Remember what it was called. But anyway, there was there was like a cat girl named Alhambra. If that's if I'm saying the name right. Um, it was not Valkyria Chronicles. Was that Atlas? It was Sega. I don't think it was Atlas. Or it, 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 Atlas did the game I'm talking about. I don't know if Atlas did Valkyria Chronicles. I think that was just Sega. But I can see how you would make the assumption that Valkyria Chronicles is Atlas, because I mean RPGs are their thing, and they are owned by Sega. I gotta play that. I've heard at least the first one is good. You know, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna go up. The Alhambra is a palace slash fortress thing in Granada in Spain. Cool. I didn't actually know that. I just, you know, heard it from a character's name. Can I talk to? No, I can't. And also, yeah, Paul definitely did not end very well. Hopefully he was not kept in, um, like, unfathomable eons of torment in the seconds before, uh, that guardian blew up his head. Dust and rock falls from the roof through a fault in the stone. It is difficult for Roberto to assess how sturdy the place is, but it needs a lot of reinforcement if it is to be built upon. Granada? The man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen and that Roberto will be next. But worms are friends, it's fine. <gasps> Time to go in the screaming dimension. Oh, he got a statue and his head's intact. Yes, give me give me the book. The scream team in the Hall of Losers. You know what I keep meaning to do is to like fiddle around with spells more? Because obviously I can combine runes and I can get spells if I don't have the scrolls yet. I just won't know what they do. The worker is surprised to see Roberto. He confesses to cowardice as he stayed behind while others ventured into the complex. When the screams of the others echoed from the walls, he dared not move. So is Valkyria Chronicles more of an action RPG? Oh, Trapper Keepers. Hang on. Oh, good thing I have a crossbow. No. No. You missed... I can't believe this untrained warrior missed this tiny target with probably no prior crossbow training. Eh. Unique combo of tactical with some first person elements. Intriguing. You can't really see more than what your units see at any given moment. So is it better than Fire Emblem in the sense that 
like, if you've played an older Fire Emblem, you know that Fog of War is very unbalanced, and that it affects your army, but the enemy is not held back by Fog of War, and it makes those kinds of chapters really frustrating. A collapsed roof and scaffolding prevents Roberto from proceeding further down this corridor. Oh. I thought this was a survey point. I guess I could just... No, it's not. So hang on. While I'm here, a... Let me save. You know, because why not? And B, let me have a look at my spells here as well. Because, like, I can... I can use my runes and... Just make something up, right? Because that's how I got the, the summon Trapper Keeper spell, right? Um, presumably I could summon something better if I do the five-point version. I don't know... I assume like a five-point recovery spell would be stronger. Um, I don't know if there's a point to casting Reveal Invisible um, at a higher point. I guess a higher point Enchant Item would... Uh, do, or rather would buff my weapon for more? Hang on a second, I just want to see... Um... Is it item? I should have looked at the scroll. Now I have to look at what it was because I don't remember. Chant item is Antrobok and Magamar. Okay. There we go. Reject item. Okay. And then I just buff it. There we go. Cool, okay. So I have a beefier version of that. Um, so I could probably then... If I do enchant item, assign, and then I just put the beefier versions. That makes more sense, right? Yeah, okay. Pardon me while I fiddle with these. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, there's also damage field, dispel magic. Uh, I don't know if any more of these would be. I guess shield would be not a bad idea to make beefier. Bangkarok and Sandhack. Boy, I'm, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing these two. Uh, okay. Just do these two. Sandhack and... There we go. Wonderful. The setting of Valkyria Chronicles more interesting than Fire Emblem. I concur. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with Fire Emblem, but, I, you know, I, I like me a Fire Emblem. But having sort of an anime World War II, I guess, is certainly more novel than Fantasy Kingdom. Anime World War II, though, specifically. Because heaven knows we've had 8 million Western war games. Oh, hello. What are these moth fellas called again? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh no! Oh, they summoned a little guy! I also like the Mantarok voice. Do I need any... I guess I could use some sanity, I guess. Yeah, the Mantarok voice just kind of sounds like a guy. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna leave. Whatever. It's taking too long. The trade-off with more powerful magic, aside from acquiring more magic power, is that it takes longer to cast. Okay, so not something I'd want to practically do all the time. But I figure if I'm enchanting a weapon to be more effective in combat, I would do that before I'm surrounded. So I think that would be okay. Um, uh, what am I doing? Just gonna do recover... Sanity. Oh, I can't cast spells in the trapper dimension? Mm. Oh, this thing is still here. Please don't summon any more of those, thank you. So not good for emergency health. I figured, so I'll keep recovery as just a three-point spell. Oh, hello. A tattered scroll of paper sits atop the die, collecting dust. 
Oh! Summon zombie. Summon creature. Yeah, okay. Now, does the shield spell wear off with time, or is it just when you get hit is when uh, you lose um, shield? So could I preemptively cast it? So hello, Taito. How are you? In fact, you know, let's let's just cast it now. Um, uh, what am I doing? Spell list. Already forgetting what I'm doing. Shield. Cast. Five point. Oh, that is a lot of magic. Without enough pargons, you only get the gently plead with zombie skill. Oh. No, the rats. No. Well, I guess here would be a good opportunity to, to cast them. Um, let me just go in the corner here. Um, what did I have? Okay, the bottom one. The heat is abominable. Thank you for asking. It's, I think, like 27 degrees Celsius or something today. But tomorrow it's supposed to be 31, which is disgusting. Normally it's the kind of day where, ow, that's so much damage. Like, after work I would just go home and just chill as much as I can. But my dad's been wanting to see the, uh, the Barbie movie, so we're probably going to do that after work tomorrow. Which I don't mind. I've been curious about it too, but just the heat me. My wrists are okay. Thank you for asking. Um, I will be trying to stretch them throughout the stream. Um, and uh, if I have to stop a little early than I usually do, please bear with me. I just, my, both my wrists are very hacked up, so I have to be very gentle. Another worker's corpse this time slashed from behind as he ran from his attacker, hoping for escape. Sorry, sir. If only the Rattos could have saved you. I'm not sure what the relative humidity is. Hello? Oh. Why would you even have that? Oh, so you don't know how badly I just want to step in there. I mean, you know what's gonna happen, but... Ravaged corpses litter the room. Their flesh has been devoured in places, and decomposition has already set in. It's definitely a hint to step on that space. Okay, look. We all agree we need to see it, right? Obviously it's gonna kill me instantly, but I have to know. I'm saving. We're all gonna find out together. Sorry, Bianchi. that it just sits there. It like, doesn't even lift up like last time. Which is probably for the best. <laughs> Roberto has perished at the hands of the eternal darkness. Yeah, definitely the hands of the eternal darkness. And not, oh, what does that do? There exists a trap tile somewhere in this level, thus I will be stepping on it. That is my gift to you. Uh, not my gift to you is having to sit through these screens while I reload, though. Was it worth it? Yeah, a little bit. I wanted to know. Um, anyway, I don't know what the relative humidity is, just because it's very dry here. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll check during my stretch break. Let me have a look at my map real quick. Again, I really wish I could see what direction I'm facing relative to everything else, but... Okay, um... Well, presumably I have to send a zombie into that trap to open this door, but before I do that, let's let's go left and see what's in here. Uh, I missed a couple trap tiles in Lindsay's chapter. Gotta go back. Well, hello. Big. Whoa, oh, big. Oh no, it's gonna explode. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. 
G. Roberto, you act like you've never swung a sword before. What are you, some sort of civil servant? An engineer? What do you mean you're not, you're not geared for combat? Makes you think of the first Tomb Raider, where you would know there's an obvious trap, but you wanted to see the death animation, because some of them were actually interesting, right? Sometimes you just, you want to know what it does. Hang on, before I go in here, let me just look upstairs. The other day I was thinking about the game The Neverhood, because I was helping my dad get it working on our PC here. And you can't die in that game except for one place that is clearly marked, because I have a distinct recollection of the manual saying that. And my, my dad went in there anyway, because he had to know. Although crumbling in places, the structure of this area could be braced to provide enough of a foundation for the monument. That is some fast work. Oh no! Oh no, they're unionizing. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna... There we go. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, never mind. Well, I guess now let's go this way. That is really loud. Should the game come down? I mean, it just... The game seems like it's a good volume except for that effect. So sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. There's no, like... Oh, there is volume. Oop, no, that's not what I want. Oh. Not, not really. It's not like sound effects, voices, no. Sometimes the game does have weirdly loud things in it, like, um... The, uh, the dual flintlock pistols in Maximilian's chapter, which is still pretty hilarious. Just dual-wielding pistols. I hope I'm, I'm actually getting these guys. I can hear them! Anything? Anything? Anybody else? Any more takers? No, we're good. Okay. Let me put this weapon on. Great. What's in here? Oh, a horror. Hello. Uh, just a second. That's right, I can I can do it from here. Oh, that's that's the wrong enchant spell. Hang on. Oh, that's the problem with having them set to the, the D-pad, is that I don't remember which is which I have set to which. What am I doing? Oh, it's the bottom one. Blastoise is the bottom one. There we go. Maybe I should shield up, too. And like, Not that it does a whole lot of good, but... Those, um... Horrors could do a lot of damage. Um, it's just full recover, so I guess I'm just gonna have to manually. Uh, uh no, no, shield. Not more. Again, weirdly loud effects. Hello. Oh. Well, that guy didn't last as long as I thought he would. Oh well. Good for me. There is a key placed on the pedestal. It glints in the room's soft lights. Okay. Oh. What else is around here? Anyway, I still hear Magalore, like the Kirby character. I guess you could hear Macklemore too. A moat of molten rock and fire prevents access to the room's center, in which a curious shrine stands. Confused by the layout, Roberto ponders its purpose and reason, and finds none. They just built it cuz, you know, like how some people build things in Minecraft. It's not supposed to be functional, it's supposed to look cool. The wall is decorated with runes. Great care has been taken to place the scaffolding around the symbols, not to damage them. Obviously, they must be of great significance. Um, I wonder 
if, hang on, let's, uh, was it Dispel? Cast. No, wait, is it reveal invisible? But I only have I have to use five point for that. Hang on. It's the ba -ba 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 -ba. Narakoth and Red Gormore. Okay. Okay, five points. And I went past it. There we go. Okay. Will that do it? Nope. This one. Aha! There we go. So I like the thought of Uliath running a thrift shop. I don't know why. Even ancient ones need a source of income. There is a key placed on the pedestal. It glints in the room's soft light. Yoink. Very Lens of Truth-esque. The key to the Forgotten Corridor. Well, alright. The two things people who have never played Eternal Darkness know about the game are sanity effects and Pargon. That is correct. <laughs> that is largely what I know. Hello, Grandpa. Help me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. You have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakling. Not a scared wretch of a girl. Dang, Grandpa. You kept all this from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. I could never give you the burden. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Why couldn't you have been killed with your parents? This can't be happening! Holy smokes, Grandpa. I know that's a sanity effect, but jeez. Yeah, that's not very helpful, Grandpa. Uh, was this always here? Did I walk past this before? I just noticed it. A sapphire effigy stands inside an alcove set into the wall. Mm. All right. Cool. Uh, let me just have a peek at this first. A small statuette of a sorcerer, driven mad by an unseen force. It is made from a lustrous sapphire. What's he looking at? Some kind of urn? A vessel? I thought it was a pumpkin at first. Okay, nothing here to be surveyed. Blue raspberry flavored. Mm. Is this what the key unlocks? Wonderful. I'm just gonna save. It's my first time through the game. I've been warned. Save a lot. What's everyone's favorite item get fanfare? Like, since it varies depending on where you are. Like, here we have the, the sitar string. Um... Is this gonna hurt me? Ow. Uh... Hang on a second. Can I... Shield? Well, hopefully this is right, because that took a lot of magic. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, we did it. Does the sapphire statue look oddly edible? It's gummy. <laughs> oh no, Andorra, what have you done? <laughs> Wait, does- so, beyond its- giant list of faux pas. Metroid Other M also doesn't have the classic item get fanfare from Metroid. Is that what I'm reading? The man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen, and that Roberta will be next again with the worms. A hideous boss relief adorns the monolith. 
Humans thrown into a nest of huge worms. The people have been sacrificed, ingested by the worms to fuel some unknown, unfathomable process. That's what they mean by worms. They love worms around here. The worms are hungry. Bridge. Now let me check this. This carving depicts a man's skeletal remains in the cruel embrace of a multitude of worm-like creatures. Are these the things that killed the men in this room? It just has an indistinct sci-fi sound in place of the item fanfare. A rope holds the bridge aloft, waiting to be lowered into position. Um, can I... Oh, yes I can. I think. There you go. Yeah, weirdly loud and crunchy. Oh, uh, wormies. No. Should Roberto try to survey the area? Yeah, sure. Don't get eaten. Oh, it's too dangerous to survey right now. Is it? It's fine. There we go. The dilapidated roof appears to be collapsing in several areas and will need a lot of reinforcement. The workers will have a daunting task ahead of them. Yeah, don't worry about the worms! It's dangerous to survey alone. Take this. Yeah, he learned about the worms in survey school. A lever is mounted on a nearby column. Should Roberto pull the lever? Absolutely. Considering everything you've noted is that it's crumbling, maybe you shouldn't be dropping things like that. It's fine. It's... He knows enough about bridges to recognize whether or not it's safe. Uh, I guess I shield myself again. In retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have used the Mantrox spell. Maybe the other ones are more mana efficient. Oh well. Oh, it sucks to be those guys that don't have any magic. Huh. I hope there wasn't, like, a more efficient way to do that. And I just look silly. But it worked. Pull the lever and the giant block falls on me again. <laughs> Reminds me of the cow in Earthworm Jam. Okay. Uh, so now, let me look at my spells here. Um, so summon zombie. And I guess it doesn't matter. There we go, I got a guy. Press A to attack enemies. Attacks can be targeted using R. Attack an enemy's head to perform a non-attack. Press start to release control of the zombie. I can make them go faster. They can open doors and not pick up items. Beautiful. Elegant. Graceful. Alright. Get in the meat grinder. Thank you. Why would you stop controlling the zombie? You're right, why would you stop? It's an eternal buddy comedy that was cancelled after one episode when the co-star wandered into the meat grinder. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's a, it's a little trapper keeper. No, 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 no. It's not loaded. I should have loaded it. Hurry up. Hurry up. No, I don't want to target this. I want to target the little guy. Wait, did it kill the little guy? Oh, no, it's still alive. Here we go. Uh, hang on a sec. Let me just... I think this one... Vulnerable while it's casting. 
It's some of the horror. Sir, unnecessary. Ah, uh, I can't hit it. Oh, every day I'm suffering. Oh. And now I'm here. Alright, well. Can I have some magic? I'm just gonna sit at green forever. Come on. Come on! I wanted some magic. If you just. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Come on. Why won't you go to the one that I want? Please. Please. Why? Uh, okay, here we go. Thank you. When your feet are close to the platform, it won't change colors. Oh. I thought it was just messing with me. Like, oh, is that what you want? No, no. Well, I guess that's kind, so that it doesn't, like, abruptly change right when you're about to step on it. Oh, I could walk around a refill magic, you're right. Well, and now we've lost all of our marbles, collectively. Uh-oh, it's gonna explode. No, stop. Stop doing that, the animation. Maybe I can just run past this fella. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Work smarter, not harder. There we go. Venture no further, or be struck down where you stand. Who? What? I am the guardian of this temple, the Forbidden City. None shall enter except the Chosen. Speak. <laughs> you are the Chosen. For many years I have tested those who came here and all have failed. You are unaffected by the power I wield, and thus must surely be the Chosen. I? Once I was as you were, confused and without answers, yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in vain. I'm sorry, he looked like he only then just stopped to contemplate his life choices and thought, you know, maybe the ghost girl wasn't worth it. I guess I'll take the Metroid. Roberto can feel the acidic touch of the artifact's magic reaching toward him. Using a shred of cloth from his robes to shield his hands, he retrieves the hovering artifact. Wonderful scree. Oh, that's here too. When are we gonna get Pokemon Emeralds? And I'm just gonna take a moment to restore. Um, I guess I need to survey. Hang on a sec. Jeez, this guy's. This guy has so little magic. I mean, I guess I can run in circles to restore it. Strawberry. Okay, I'm just gonna run for a little bit just so I can get my magic back. I'm getting very sick of the crying. I'm tiring out poor Roberto. Hopefully the ceiling doesn't fall on his head. I'm gonna survey the area in just a sec, but I figured I want to do this first, just in case um, I get like railroaded into something after. So that way, I just have my Here bars fuller. Getting those juices flowing. Okay, we're marginally saner now. Everything is good. We have our strawberry gummy. 
There we go. The room appears to be an incredibly ancient shrine to the ancients, as noted in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Could this be what Roberto's captor seeks to preserve with his monuments? Roberto has completed his survey of the complex. Now he can return to the service and report his findings to his captor. Oh, I gotta, I gotta walk back. Is there a spell of run fast? Oh, it's this. A construct of human bones lashed together to form a small shrine. A shade of skin tops the edifice, making the light cast eerie shadows on the walls that glow with the warmth of their own. I assume I don't have to put the book there, right? No, I can't. I can't put the book there. Oh, is there nothing else I can examine? Nope. Okay. I'm backtracking. I did get a Metroid. Oh, this is not the right way. Roberto has arguably the lowest magic pool. He's one of, one of the bulkiest characters in terms of health. Jeez. Yeah, I'm just... No. I wanna. Don't- you can't make me. I only thought I could reach yet. Oh, it's closed forever now. Godspeed, Rattos. Roberto has arguably the lowest magic pool. He's one of the bulkiest characters in terms of health. Civil servants just built differently. Engineers make for good tanks. He really does run like he's through jello, though. It's just like the movement of his limbs is very slow. He good? Oh, same as before. Still worried about the worms? Yep. All about those wormies. I'm just- I'm gonna save again. A little excessive, maybe, but I don't want it to be like with Lindsay, where I unexpectedly got blown up by all those Uliath zombies, and had to walk a fair bit back, so... At least everything is dead and gone, I agree. Huh, okay. Why is there a bunch of crossbow boats of bolts just sitting here? That seems suspect. Why are they loading me up with crossbow ammunition? Are you trying to tell me something? Oh, bolts for- really <laughs> happening! Oh no! Oh, these aren't crossbow bolts at all. What even kind of gotcha is that? I'm just hallucinating crossbow bolts. I mean, alright. I guess there are worse things to hallucinate. This one's real, right? Oh, great. Something's goopy in here. Hello. No. Get some of that sanity back. You've earned it, Roberto. And then you're gonna go home to your friends and family. You're gonna have maybe like a nice glass of red wine and some fresh pasta. Sun ripened tomatoes. the right way, right? Or am I just walking into a wall? I can't see. It's so dark. And I, the map is not very useful. Let me just equip a torch. Bianchi enjoys a uh, Chianti? Is that how you say Oh, there's a ladder. I wonder I couldn't see it. And what news do you bring me, architect? The, the, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. Mm, 
You have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. But the demons! You'd be insane to build there! Silence, dog! What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Guards! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. Sacrifice? Oh. I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you, since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent! Now you, Architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project. Oh. Sorry, Roberto. When you push them in so soon, they can't even hear your whole speech. Ah, uh, so that's the pillar of flesh, huh? Not as fleshy as I thought it was. Interesting that Pius is now wearing a mask, which makes me think of, like, um... I don't know what they're actually called. The, uh, the, the, the leper's mask? Um, to hide that they have leprosy. Which is weird, because Pius has never done that sort of thing before. Maybe he doesn't feel like maintaining the glamour that hides his skeletal face from people. Getting stoned in the worst possible way. Ha ha ha. What is that crumbling noise? I need an... An architect? Is there something up with the, the painting here? Should Alex try to survey the area? I guess. An unseen force guides Alex's hand towards the painting, compelling her to look behind it. She reaches out and pulls back the painting and discovers a chapter page hidden behind it. Oh. A sense of familiarity overcomes her, and as the chapter page comes to her fingers, so does the realization that Roberto's spirit is aiding her. Oh. A war to end all wars. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the way that we need more flesh and bone, and then Pius is just ignoring him at that point. <laughs> Pius is preparing snacks for the Guardian and he's sick of it. It's so demanding, it doesn't even like his ants on a log that he so lovingly prepared. No manners. Anyway, uh, I guess we, we will read this. Is this... I'm gonna assume the First World War, perhaps? The war to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob 
researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, now transformed into a field hospital. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, mustard gas, rip, pierce, and burn to flesh. Men soak gauze in their own urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded. I'm not a doctor, but I feel like you shouldn't be moving someone in that state. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my. Also, belatedly, I checked the recording last time and Pius did not say Amiens, he did say Amiens correctly. I don't know what I was thinking, I guess I was just projecting and imagining that he was pronouncing Amiens as Amiens just for fun. So I would like to retract my statement, but it's still funny to me that if he can't pronounce French. Thank you. Anyway. A soldier's letter lies on the table waiting to be sent home. Oh, Amiens. Oh, merci beaucoup. For a Canadian, my French is abhorrent. <laughs> Pius assassinated Archduke Ferdinand confirmed. <laughs> So my lord, I have prepared you a bento. First letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love Margaret. I was admitted to this hospital on Tuesday. The damaged cause to my legs was slight, but there is no way that I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I am reminded that I will never be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place. Converted from an old cathedral, there is an odd atmosphere around it, silent but for the words of the wounded calling out in the night. There is no doubt it is haunted. What I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leave during the day. It's not right. No goodbyes or farewells. Just an empty bed when you wake. Oh dear. A lucky penny? An old coin marked in a peculiar manner. It has held sentimental value for someone. Whoever holds the penny will undoubtedly receive good fortune. Yeah, oh, I bet we're going to have a great ending here. A pouch of flash powder for use with a photographic flash pan. This is a photographer's flash pan used to hold combustible powders that, when ignited, create a large white flash. This can be used to stun some enemies. I'm sure I'm going to forget that I have that. Not a lot of stamina on this fellow. Or not, sorry, not stamina. A sanity. A lot of magic, though, interestingly. The faint sound of moaning emanates from behind the linen veils. Whispered utterances, frantic prayers to loved ones, words offered only by those who face their mortality. Those old-timey cameras probably have horrible reload speed. Covered with blood-stained sheets, these poor souls have passed from this world. For them, the suffering is over, but for those around them, the ordeal continues. Okay, same description as before. Huh? Yeah, the low sanity meter makes sense, considering. The soldier is rather distressed. Perhaps he has lost a lot of friends to the trenches of the Somme. He confides that the only stories are sad ones, and that the only true heroes are in the mortuary. The altar is cleared of all valuables, not only to prevent looting, but also to afford space for medical supplies, and even as an operating table should the need arise. Ugh. Pretty horrible to contemplate. Oh, hello. The guard frowns and ushers Peter away from the organ. He explains that it is one of the few antiques in the region that has so far survived the war, and that while he's alive, it will remain intact. Oh no, buddy, you just tripped a flag. Oh, he's definitely not gonna die. Okay. Uh, well, I need the Tome of Eternal Darkness for that. 
Can you all see us with the shelling? Abruptly, the guard asks if Peter has clearance for the old tower, as it is a restricted area. N yes? I've already run so much that I've tired this poor fellow out. Sorry. Peter finds a sealed envelope that seems to have been left behind. Wonderful. Definitely gonna open that. Not for me. A sealed envelope. It looks rather official. Should Peter open the envelope? Yes. I mean, nothing bad has ever happened from reading correspondence that's not meant for you in this game, right? No peeking. Soldier's orders, huh? Oops, sorry, check. An official note on Army Regulation Stationery. The note reads, Private Thompson, by order of Lieutenant Hargraves, on behalf of H.R.H. George V, you are to leave your post of duty and rally in the streets outside Oublier Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at the rallying point. God save the king. feels odd to see HRH instead of, um, uh, yeah, the, the, was it, no, I'm thinking about HMS, never mind. The guard quietly but strongly points out that the area is off limits to civilians. I can't, like, give you. The guard inspects the orders and hands them back to Peter, saying that these orders are intended for someone else. Ah. Oh. I was wondering that myself, actually. Um, if oublier was related to oubliette, but I couldn't remember the word oubliette exactly, so I didn't want to say it in case I got it wrong. Somebody else. By orders of HMS George V, the fine ship. But yeah, I was definitely thinking that the name of this cathedral was a rather ominous one. And I would not be surprised if Oublier was meant to evoke Oubliette. I have tired this poor boy out. Sorry. The guard shifts about, obviously bored with his duty and awaiting a replacement, or perhaps a call to arms. Ah. The guard unfolds the orders and begins to read them before exclaiming, Bloody hell, lad. Sorry, blue, bloody? Bloody hell. Bloody, bloody hell, lad. We must be on the offensive. Following the orders, he takes leave of his post. Blue, bloody? Bloody. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Has anyone from Silicon Knights been to the UK? Designed to muster patriotic feelings, these posters declare that the Allies are fighting the good fight. It's a small comfort for the occupants of the room, whose spent corpses line the cold cathedral floor. Uh, my French is not good enough to translate much of that. I, I recognize some words, but I could not put it together. Hmm. A revolver lies abandoned on a nearby pew. Wink. Bloody hell. Oops. Oh. Uh, stack like logs, Peter stands before the price of human war. The bloodied corpses of young men who have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend their own countries and those of others. I was thinking they're classic propaganda posters. Oh! It's the Scream Room! Do we have a new entrant in the, the Hall of, of Losers? There he is, Roberto Bianchi. Well, at least you got a cool statue. Power stance. Yeah, he's got two cool statues now. Oh. Oh, goodness. This is like the front door, right? I can't just leave. Although scared enough to run, the journalist, journalist in Peter is determined to uncover the full story of the cathedral, no matter what it entails. To the bloody end, Peter decides to stay. Oop, oop, oop. I had a torch. It's too soon. Oh. Oh no. Bone thieves.
How does the tome keep choosing people who have heroic leanings? Destiny? Oh, I can see the nurse possessed by the bone thief down there. Sorry! The nurse isn't even a demon, she's just mean. What are you doing out of your bed? Get back! Save her! Oh, okay, I was gonna say with what, but the revolver has bullets. I thought it was just empty. A soldier's letter sits atop a crate of medical supplies. The demon there is the victim. Second letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love, Margaret. I've been here for over a week now, and there is no word when I will be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened. At night, the sounds of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement, or whispers. I have seen war firsthand, and the sounds at night in this hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here at night? Why do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. One said he had heard cries for help in the middle of the night, cries that were only answered by snarls of rage and not compassion. Another said Lance Corporal Haskell had not been discharged but had gone missing. I stare at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread gnawing at my heart. Hmm. Can I ring the bell? Oh, hello. Oh, no. It's another mean nurse. There's no bell to ring. Well, never mind. Goodbye. <laughs> Looks like it has a coffee stain on it. Who's getting coffee here in this small French cathedral in the middle of the First World War? Get back to bed or I'll rip your flesh off! No thanks. I'm good. I'm good. I'll leave. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, man. Uh, okay, you know... You I was gonna say, I, I just want to get past this guy, because shooting him is, isn't doing much good. Oh, I actually hit him. Okay, hang on a second. I can't get past this guy. I can't get past this guy. Uh... Sir, please. Sir. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, uh, hang on a second. I need to, like, go back upstairs and, like, heal. <laughs> Except there's this nurse here. What the heck? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ma'am, I'm busy. I'm busy. Ma'am, please. Ma'am. Uh, this thing is still on the stairs. It's okay. I'm free. I'm free. Paul's losing... Not Paul, sorry. Uh... Peter? There's too many P names. He's losing his mind, but we're free. Okay, let me just take a second to uh, recover. There's no, like, amount of bullets. There's no, like, attack spells in this game, right? So hang on a second. Um, cover, check. Narukath and Santec. Okay. And self, absorb self, Argon, Argon. Is damage feel really worth it though? Like, I just have to stand there, right? Is there anything I can use to, like, launch an assault? That's not what I want. Cast. Or did that. Did I. Did I pick the recovery spell by accident? Whatever, whatever. Well, I have the book. I guess I could get past here now. If these, these people could leave me alone, please. Oh, jeez. Oh, what did I want? Dispel? Cast? Oh, jeez. 
jeez. Oh, there's guys on me. Okay, hang on. Uh, damage fields? Oh, come on. I need to get far enough away. helpful. That's really helpful. Interestingly, it doesn't seem to work on the, the humans. Oh, maybe it does? Oh, man. I am not in a good spot right now. Um, and I can't save. And I don't have any weapons. Uh, I guess I could stun these guys. Oh, I have to reload? Damage is one thing at a time. Great. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Where's that giant sword? I would love that giant sword right now. Okay, um... Is it Dispel or Reveal Invisible? I feel like I'm only going to have the chance to cast one. Does anybody remember? Because now I'm doubting myself. I think it's Dispel or is it... I don't know. Because, no, there's there's like a door behind here, right? So it would be Reveal Invisible. Oh my god, there's a thing. That was not the correct spell. Okay. Am I missing something about that symbol? Oh, wait, no, it's it's too many points. Okay, I can't actually do anything with it right now anyway. Just kidding! I guess I need a bigger circle of power? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. This is really happening! Yeah, okay. I would really love, like, to be able to save and heal. Um... Uh, I feel like if I try and recover here, I'm gonna get chumped, but maybe not. Ow. Good enough. I just let her die! What do you want me to do? I'm out of bullets. Oh, I need a weapon. Please, somebody give me a weapon. I can't even save. Because I can't kill anything without a weapon. Can I save in here? Yes? Oh, good. Okay. Fabulous. Oh. Hello, Rados. Oh. <gasps> My sword! No, don't reload. I guess the reload prompt takes priority. An aged wooden plaque on the wall bears a two-edged sword. Give me. Oh, thank goodness. I'll take the revolver ammunition, but... I forgot I was holding the, the flash pan, and I couldn't clearly see what it was because it's dark, and for a second I thought Peter was holding a rat in his hands. You know, just, just for comfort. It's just, just a rat. Okay, is there anything else in here aside from the sword? I don't think so, but let's take a moment to recover. Uh, cast. Yes, I know we get less sanity effects like this, but if my sanity is empty, I lose health. Okay, cool. We're healthy, we're good. I'm gonna save again just in case. I think we're healthy, yeah? Hey, I can do like one more little recovery spell. There we go. Thank you, Charizard. Okay. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Oh no! Wow, these guys do so much sanity damage, and they're really hard to hit. I'm, st I'm stuck in this staircase. Friends, please. I guess you're not friends, that's the whole problem. I'm gonna freaking die to these bone thieves because I keep hitting the wall. Rip. 
Ugh. Peter, could you please just slash downwards, please? I'm begging you, buddy. Well, good thing we saved. Although we have to sit through the title screen again. Come on. Come on. Okay. There we go. Well, good thing I had the presence of mind to save after uh, restoring my stuff. And this gives me a chance to shake up my hands and do a little stretch. I've been stretching during cutscenes, but while it's loading, I can do this too. There we go. Okay. Um, you know what I'm going to do, just in case, is let's... Um, shields. There we go. Okay. Let's not get stuck in a narrow corridor. Okay, excellent. Oh. Do I know what's wrong with my wrists? I do. Um, I did have them examined, so uh, it's carpal tunnel. I've got developing carpal tunnel. Because my job is heck on my hands. So that's why I have to wear wrist braces. I am getting more treatment in September. But for now, I have to just take it very easy. Hence, I have to do lots of stretches. I have to take breaks. I may have to stop a little early if my hands get particularly achy. So thank you for your patience. I don't know the required magical energy. Mm. I'm gonna save. Help me, Rados. This game is some of the most anemic sword swings you've ever seen. You're so right. Eh. Like, the form. Awful. But then, he probably doesn't know how to wield a sword. He's probably like... Well, I was gonna say like a 19-year-old kid who was drafted, but no, he's a journalist. I don't know how old he is. But still, I can't imagine that... Your average person knows how to wield a sword effectively, especially a big two-handed one. That's right, he only knows how to wield the pen. This room has been converted into a rudimentary morgue. Blood-stained sheets cover the unfortunate souls who have passed beyond. Oh, well, thank you for understanding. I have this problem where I just feel guilty if I'm not performing up to my ridiculous expectations. I feel like that at work, that I've had to do lesser modified duties while I recover, and it's frustrating because I feel like I'm letting people down, even though I know my health is more important. So I got a torch! I was gonna say I can see, but having removed it from its wall sconce, I can't see. Now I can see! Yeah, he should be using the pen instead. It's a better weapon than the sword. He should write some very inflammatory articles about these these uh, bone thieves. The altar stands wreathed in a cold mist. As Peter nears the stone, a sense of deep woe gnaws at his heart. The cathedral is undoubtedly evil, and not the holy place he had thought it to be. Is there anything else in here? Where's my map? I don't remember if there's another exit. I don't think so. Um, so let's see. I've got the torch in here. Um, evidently I need another circle of power. I guess I could try going down the stairs um, that were behind the altar as well. Since there was a guard sitting there and... Presumably he's not there anymore. Do you mind? I was trying to move and couldn't figure out why I, I was unable to, and then I realized, oh, I'm not looking at Peter, there's just like a guy. Can you all please leave? You're in my way. You're so right. Pius doesn't want me to rest my wrists, and he can't have what he wants. 
why Pius is so antagonistic towards the player characters. As a trained warrior, it kills him to see all these people fight so sloppily. Well, it doesn't matter, because he's already dead. We gotta leak. We gotta leak. Like the Marie Celeste, the desk hasn't been touched in some time, as though its users suddenly turned away and never returned. A half-written letter bespeaks silent, unfinished activity. Can I read the letter? No. So isn't it Mary Celeste, not Marie? Am I misremembering? I seem to recall it's a boat that had vanished and then reappeared. Uh, but that's all I can remember. I think it's a boat. There's no detail. I can just... I guess I can just look at these shelves. Mm, towels. Uh, I don't even know what those are. Jars. Mmm, jars. A reference to the hit game Limbo of the Lost. If you asked me what kind of game Limbo of the Lost is, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Sounds like a pointy-clicky adventure game, though. Oh, I can't do anything with that. A desk kept meticulously clean. Peter is surprised that it is not more chaotic for a frontline hospital. After all, isn't this where the death certificates are written? Hmm. Weird, huh? Is this the same room? It is the same room where, um, uh, Paul's narration remarked on the lack of lodging. And how the only man that does not need accommodations is a dead one. All this rifle ammo and yet no rifle. Weird. Which is making me think I probably walked past it. Oh well. I like the sword. I don't have to reload the sword. The workings of the pipe organ have remained mostly the same since installation. Originally, the bellows were driven manually. Now they are steam-powered, and the organ controlled electrically. This might be one of the oldest restored pipe organs in the world. Oh, I bet the guy who was trying to stop me from playing it is, is uh, hmm, finito now. Sorry, sir. But also, I want a noodle. Peter's freestyle jazz career is just begging to take off. What do we got? A boiler? Old, rusty, but faithful for many years, a coal-burning boiler provides heat and steam to the cathedral complex. There is currently no pressure being diverted to the generator. Should Peter turn the wheel? Yes. Indeed, an adventure game, notorious for its lengthy development time, removed from market after a few months because of blatant theft of assets from other games. Oh. The door is unlocked, but won't open. It's as if there is a large object on the other side blocking its movements. There appears to be a hole in the wall. It is large enough for a small dog to pass through. That curious phrase again, very specifically, small dog, huh? Uh, summon a trapper. I guess it probably doesn't matter. Oh, I was gonna say I want to summon a manta rock trapper, but I can't. What? What do you mean creatures can't be summoned at this location? Am I? Is, is my spell getting cut off? There we go. Did I just not have enough room for my little fellow or like my little shields? Uh, creatures prefer more, prefer more space. That's true. We have to make sure it has a big enough enclosure. The body of a soldier, a patient in the hospital, lies slumped against the door. Trying to hide from the horror, he has barricaded himself inside the room before succumbing to his wounds. Can I send this guy to the, the trapper dimension? I'm supposed to do? Hang on, let me try that again. I just pressed A, but that like they killed my little buddy. Can I not send this fellow to the, the trapper dimension? Because that's what my assumption would be. 
Maybe I have to target him specifically? There we go. Clunk. Excellent. If that wasn't the solution, I would have been totally stuck, because I couldn't think of anything else. A circle of power sits atop a stack of crates in the middle of the room. Wonderful. Okay, um... So it is, it is dispel... No, is it, it's reveal invisible, right? Uh, so Narukath and Red Gormor. Sorry, I have to check every time. Okay, um... And Red Gormor, and then just pardon, 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 pardon! <laughs> There we go, and now I have it ready to go. People always drop in their circles of power. Clean up, you slobs. I'm not your maid. Limbo of the Lost is atrocious. I, is, I would imagine if it has a bunch of stolen assets, it sounds like they don't really have faith in their own abilities. The generator is working, but doesn't appear to be providing power to all the circuits of the cathedral. Perhaps a fuse is blown. There's a lever to switch the generator on and off. If I pull this, it's not gonna, like, explode, right? The sound of metal grating against metal is combined with a hiss of steam, but there doesn't appear to be any output of power. Is the circuit broken? Do I gotta do some repairs here? Perched on the wall beside the generator is an open-faced fuse box. A fuse appear to be missing. Appears to be missing. There is no sign of where it could be. Do I need a fuse? Do I have to find a fuse to fix this with? Um, I didn't walk past a fuse, did I? Oh. Come on, man. Give me a chance. Oh, do I need anything while I'm here? Oh, there's Chaturga zombies. Wonderful. The beefy ones. Not really. I mean magic, I guess. But there's also a Chaturga zombie there, so... Eh. There's already two by the exit. Come on, I need perp. I need perp. Perp. There we go, perp. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. A young man's body lies hunched against the wall of the platform. Blood from the viscous wounds surrounding his face and neck soak the remnants of what appears to be a uniform with a sickly dark red. Oh, the guy is actually in here. Huh. Somehow I wasn't expecting that. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, rifle ammo. Do I not have revolver ammo? Oh, yes I do. It's right here. Oops. I thought Mix would, like, he'd automatically reload and I don't have to hit B, but never mind. Okay, is that all of you? Is that all of you? I don't hear any more chittering. Casks full of maturing wine line the cellar amidst the race of the cold air. When the war is over, if it ever is, the wine will be of a good vintage. Just drink it now! <sighs> a soldier's body lies on the floor. Far from the front line, this poor man met his end. His fate is far removed from his brothers in arms. A victim of the cathedral, rather than by bullet or bayonet. And the secret ending, you crack the wine open. Well, I need the secret ending. Oh. I really don't want to go, like, looking around for a fuse. Like, come on. Has anyone here played Parasite Eve? I have a weird recollection of Parasite Eve doing something similar. Where the villain stole a fuse for some reason and you need to fix it in the hospital basement. 
Yeah, it was also in a hospital thinking about it. Uh, I can't, like... The fact it says there's no sign of where it could be makes me feel like I need to... What, really? Huh. Huh. In a rush of inventiveness, Peter jams the lucky penny in place of the fuse. Amazingly, it works! The fuse has been replaced. Huh. Thanks, Val. I feel like I would have gotten there eventually, but I might have bumbled around looking for a fuse. <laughs> the metal conducts. Now, would I recommend doing this in real life? Absolutely not. Do not try and fix a generator with a lucky penny. I am not responsible for what may occur. Is... Am I tiny? <laughs> He's tiny. I'm assuming this is a sanity effect, like I'm getting smaller. <laughs> what do you mean it can't be happening? It's hilarious. The lucky penny is the key to defeating the final boss. Oh no. This is this is active now, right? I was gonna say it reminds me of um Alone in the Dark. I guess following adventure game logic, the lucky penny makes sense because you would eventually give up and try everything. Oh. Oh man, that's stained glass. And now I'm just stepping on it, crunch, crunch, crunch. Hundreds of years old, ruined in an instant. Oh, but I can play the organ now. A piece of very old paper sits in the pipe organ, callously misplaced and forgotten. Nice, nice. Please let me play it. An incredibly old, but well-preserved pipe organ. The workmanship is quite exquisite, but borders on the grotesque. Tiny demonic figures hide within the swirling facade designs, almost invisible to the eye. Should Peter play the organ? Heck yeah. Hmm. Uh. Very nice. That's my knowledge as well, that copper is the most practical choice for conducting electricity. Did I just... this wasn't here the first time I went through it, right? A rifle lies on the altar, probably discarded by a fleeing guard. Alright. No, no. Come on, son of a biscuit. No! That's a good question. Any other GameCube games where you play an organ? No. No! Old-timey fuses were made of thin copper wires. They melted and opened the circuit above certain currents. Good gravy. That sounds unregulated. By the way, Taito, how has your, um, electrical wiring work been going? There we go. Nice and healthy. Can I save in here? Is there anything left in this room trying to kill me? You know, aside from the, the bombing outside. Yes. Okay, now I can go spell list. Reveal invisible. I hope this is the right spell. <laughs> You're right, I didn't get the thing I just opened up. Thank you. I got so distracted thinking about electrical currents and also that bone thief getting in my way. So boy, it's looking very orange in here. The tabernacle is almost empty. Empty of all the things that should be there, such as holy water or other ritualistic items. There is only a door handle lying on the lower shelf. What a downgrade. 
also not something I would have immediately identified as a door handle. It looks like the, the handle to a fancy urn or pitcher. Today you de decommissioned the old fuse box slash switchboard since now all the hor horse <laughs> the house is under the new system, which is way safer. I'm glad to hear that. Ugh. I've tired this poor fellow out. After the magic is taken hold, a heavy oak door is revealed. Scratches and dents infest the wood, telling a long, dark story. It is missing its handle. There seems to be no way to open it. If only I had a handle that I conveniently got after rocking out. Why was it in the tabernacle? But then I shouldn't ask such questions. That's not befitting an adventure game protagonist. You don't question it, you just steal everything that isn't nailed down. Dang, Taito, that's seriously impressive. I know I've said that before, but just the the skill to be able to do such a thing is very impressive. I'm trying to think of other GameCube games with organs, and now I just think... I wish Super Mario Sunshine let you play an organ. One of the, like, the, the fancy ones you see, where you, you play a note and you make a jet of water appear in a fountain. Oh, there's so many guys. Stop. Stop. Oh, I'm gonna freaking die. Oh, no. Come on, I got, like, a little sliver of health left. It's fine. I'm mm, sorry, Peter. Again. Did I say Banjo-Kazooie? I meant to say Mario Sunshine. Did Banjo-Kazooie come out of my mouth? Okay, I didn't. Good. Yeah, you can't play an organ in that one. It always drove me crazy, though, that like it wasn't any particular tune. It was just the same note. Oh, I'm just thinking of organ games. I have winded this poor guy. Sorry. Well, I guess since I know <clears throat> I'm going to be attacked horribly in the next room, um, let me, uh, let's think in. If I shield with um, an alignment that beats the alignment of the enemies I'm facing, will it be more effective? Let's find out. And I guess I can also enchant my weapon as well. I don't want to bother with the the seven point spell. This is good enough. Okay. Let's go fight some guys. That's much more effective. Sanity's pretty low though, but that's okay. Not like you're using it, right? Interesting that when I destroy their, their limbs, there's this green, ghostly apparition left behind. There we go, we're slightly saner. One more. Okay. Let's save as well, just in case. Okay. Uh, here, here we go. Hello, Rattos. I know the Rattos always got my back. I'm assuming this is still locked. Yes. Where's the the Franciscan Cullen mockery effigy? What? This can't be happening! 
I'm gonna be real with you. If there is a sanity effect, I didn't even notice it. Oh, there's a horror in there. What? You weren't here before. No. Oh, no. Trapper keepers. Uh, is my revolver loaded? I feel like that would be more expedient than the... I didn't even examine these! This Label Model... <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that wrong. This Label Model 1892 revolver was introduced prior to World War I. A double-action pistol with a six-shot swing-out cylinder chambered for 8mm French service ammunition. The Lee Enfield Mark III bolt action rifles are legends in their own time. Completely reliable even under adverse conditions, over 3 million were produced in Britain, India, and Australia. That really does look like a coffee stain. Okay. No. No. Excellent. So, is there a sanity effect that makes you big? Just like there was one that made you comically small. Um, let me recover some sanity here. There we go. Get rid of that, that Dutch angle. Maybe one more. There we go. Nice and healthy. She's a famous god in girls' front line. You know, a coworker reminded me a while ago about there's a lot of media out there, or like gotcha games and whatnot, that are girls that are weapons or ships. You know, whatever Concorde has going on. Which feels like a weird niche in the sense that, you know, it's surprising there's such a big market for it. Well, I guess big is relative. Ugh. Please stop hitting the wall. Peter, you're killing me. Let me get my torch so I can actually see what I'm doing. Soul Eater had a thing about that too. A tattered letter lies forgotten on the chair. I will take that. Half the population can turn into weapons. You know, I've had Soul Eater recommended a bunch, but I've never seen it. Third letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love Margaret. It's been two weeks since Haskell went missing, and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than once I saw shadows of people moving past my bed, peeking through the blinds to see a wounded soldier being taken from his bed, drugged and delirious in the dead of the night, never to be seen again. As Haskell was, perhaps as I will be. What happened to them, I don't know. I am afraid to ask what happened, for I know that I would surely be the next one to be taken into the darkness. And he lived out happily ever after, right? Right? Oh yeah, now what if X was a girl is not surprising a concept at all. It's more that the fact there's multiple different franchises out there where the girls are weaponry or military weaponry specifically. I feel like strikes me as an odd niche. Not, not odd per se. I guess it's like, you know, if I had a nickel for every time. Row upon row of books dedicated to occult lore and arcane science. From the ludicrous to the most hideously unholy. What about the most ludicrously unholy? The table is stacked full of occult items far beyond anything Peter had expected. He uncovers bizarre drawings of unnatural creatures, animated corpses, and other ethereal nightmares. If I read Soul Eater, only read up to the end of Arachne's arc. Don't read further. The end of that arc is perfect, and the manga takes a fast downhill turn after that. Oh, that's heartbreaking. This shelf appears to be recessed into the wall, not quite as flesh as the others in this room. Almost as if it could slide inwards. How nice we don't have to do the jar thing. I guess Anthony did it, and then everyone else was like, you know what? This is a terrible system. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm gonna use the rifle, why not? Bang. You kind of hate that Xenoblade avoided the girls that turn into weapons route because it looks dumb that they just stand on the side of battle and do nothing? Really? I've never played Xenoblade, but like with uh, 
Pyra and Mithra, I assume, like, they turned into weapons or were, like, active combatants? Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oopsie. Well, there's a horror over there. Uh, I am not going to engage. I'm just going to take the perp, and I'm going to get the heck out of here. See ya. I've heard, like, the first Xenoblade Chronicles is good, and 3 is really good. I've heard more mixed things about 3, but I think just because of the character design. I don't know how the story is narratively, or how the combat is. A key lies upon the accursed shrine, glinting in the soft candlelight. Yoink. Interesting purple candles, too. Makes you think of Mantarok, which I'm sure isn't the intent. An oddly shaped key, carved from what appears to be a large bone. Smaller bones and fragments of other organic matter form the teeth and handle of the key. Mmm. Just gonna recover some sand. Park, sand, sand park. Well, that's really disappointing to hear that if a series that you're really fond of handles something that is both sensitive and personal and does it in a really clumsy way, I'm going to equip my torch because I cannot see. There we go. So, does anyone know how old Peter here is, roughly? Uh oh. Oh, my controls are reversed. Oh. No, I don't want to fight you all, I just want to get the heck out of dodge. It's not this room, is it? I don't remember. Uh, it wasn't that room, right? Uh. Was it? Mid 20s? That would be my guess. He's very baby faced. Oh, no, this is the room. But I assume because he's a journalist, he wasn't just drafted. He came here voluntarily. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. No. 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 I'm gonna take this. Yeah, the baby face makes me think he's fairly young. And I don't know, what does it take to become a journalist in 1916? Feels like here you'd have to be in school for like 10 years, and then maybe they'll hire you. Maybe. A soldier's cold and stiff body lies sprawled on the steps. Peter attempts to flip the corpse over to discover his identity, but all that is left of the man's face is a ruined mass of eaten flesh. Ah, uh, same as before. Hello. A scroll sits on a small shelf mounted upon the wall. Peter has acquired the, acqu acquired the magical attack spell scroll. Why would it be here of all places? Here, in this corridor. That's really suspicious. Is this trying to tell me something? Am I gonna have to actually fight that guardian for real, which I didn't think about until just now? Um, I'm going to... let me... assign... Um, let's just do... down. I don't know if I'm gonna need the stronger version? Um... because the stronger one takes longer to cast, but let's figure it out anyway, and then, uh, I guess, set it. And if I need the longer one, I'll I can do the longer one. Uh, project area. Yeah, that would have been useful about 30 minutes ago. I mean, I guess as I was saying, I could fiddle around with magic more. Since I can evidently just discover spells um, without needing the scrolls first. Okay, let's assign this on the left. So my 
weak one will be at the bottom, but if I can get away with a stronger one. And if I need the 7.1, I'll figure that out too. Which is because it was mentioned earlier, the, um, the casting time can be an issue. That I should be mindful of that and not automatically default to the strongest option. The corridor is ended by an elaborate door decorated in a manner much different than the others within the cathedral. Peter senses an unbearable evil beyond that door. When he reaches it to open it, fear creeps into his gut and begins to eat at his soul. Uh, how's, how's my stuff? I can use a little more health. Cool. Um... It's probably fine if my sanity is at full, right? Uh, maybe I'll top that off while I can. There we go. I'll uh, do one more. Okay. That, that should be good. Should I run around for like a minute just to recharge my magic a bit? I'm going to assume I'm going to actually get to fight the Guardian Entity this time and not just have my head explode. That would be, that would be nice. Okay, let's save. I think I have enough magic. Okay. Hopefully this will be the end of the chapter. Did I just load? I thought I hit save. Eh. Did I just load? Ugh. Good. Good. Well, that's okay. It's not like I really lost any progress. Oh, I have to reset. Do I have to reset my spells? I got to reheal. I got to heal again. Uh. Okay, my quick spell's still the same. Well, that's okay. Didn't really lose any progress, just mildly inconvenienced. Cool, okay. This isn't happening! I didn't realize I had loaded it first, because I thought it was a sanity effect. Which should be a pretty mean one, where you, you go to make a save, and then like it just loads an earlier state, and you think, Oh, what have I done? I've ruined it. Spelling magic is magic with a K is pretentious, but that's how you know it's real magic. Okay. Edgeworth looking haircut. Buddy. Okay. Well, nice that she's not just going to explode my head. Okay. Is this one of those fights where you just kind of have to want run around until she leaves herself open? Oh, that's the recovery spell. Good. Okay. Not good. Okay, can you leave yourself vulnerable? There we go. Okay, cool. Cool music. Ow, what the heck? There we go. 
need a little more juice. Ah, uh, stop it. Stop it. My sanity! I'm kind of surprised that this game doesn't have much in the way of boss fights. Summon guys. Ugh, I hate it when bosses summon guys. Wasting my time. Really hope she doesn't like zap me with magic while I'm finishing these guys up. Whoa. Oh. Okay, I need you to make yourself vulnerable, please. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. That was the recovery spell. Uh. For some reason, I just want to press up on the D-pad to attack, but that's what I... Ow! Set is my recovery. I'll move. Uh oh. Well, it didn't hit her, or did it hit the, uh, the zombies instead? Oh, come on. Uh. Okay, so I have to get rid of the zombies, because otherwise, I guess they'll just eat the, uh, magic. I guess I could use the torch, couldn't I? Come on, there you go. Boosh, boosh. Boosh. Okay, and I need her to not do that big void, that one. it makes sense that, you know, an average journalist would struggle to stand up against an otherworldly horror. Or higher magic? What do you think? Okay, let me... It's on my left, right? I'm just making sure. Okay, let me try the, the left one. She starts casting her Zombo summon spell. Am I too close? Is that why she's doing that? Well, that didn't hit her again. What am I doing wrong? Do I need the... Ow. The even stronger spell? The 7.1? I'm stuck. I'm gonna freaking die. I'm definitely not going to have enough juice to, uh... Is that not enough? 
because it obviously didn't work and I can't heal now. Uh... Well, yeah, I can't attack her. I can't even heal. Why did it fizzle out? I think I'm dead. I think I should just reload at this point. I'm just gonna reload at this point. I think that is the sensible option. Hmm. Do I need a higher tier of the magic? Because I thought the, the bottom tier of the magic attack was working well because it's quicker to cast, but then that second phase, I don't really seem to be doing much to her. Um, let me think about this. And I'm assuming that's the- I have to use the magic, because, like, what's a gun gonna do? Um. Let me- I guess I could just set up. What is it? Project. Area. Pargan, 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 pargan! I could try enchanting the gun, but I feel like the game wants me to use magic specifically. Uh, but I can try that. Okay, uh, let me just save since I've made that spell. And... Yeah, let me... Okay, let me enchant. Um, should, let me enchant it with the weaker version just in case it doesn't work. And that way I don't use up as much magic. Okay, there we go. I have bullets imbued with Charizard. Um, I'm also going to just quick. Okay, spell list. Uh, magical attack. Let's assign this one to the right button. Okay. And hopefully I remember to hit the right button. And let's let's see. Can I skip the cutscene? Let's find out. We're gonna have a repeat of Kingdom Hearts 1. It is a repeat of Kingdom Hearts 1, and I'm trying to beat Riku. That one-on-one -on -one fight with Sora. Ugh. Kyrie's inside me? And that's a problem, isn't it? The more points of power, the stronger it is, but the longer it takes to cast. <laughs> no, the- the- can't be the next Egg Viper, because that's just getting chumped by the very last hit. And it's very sad. This one, I don't think it qualifies as being the Egg Viper. Blaster with the nacho cheesier gun. My bullets are flaming hot Cheetos. Are you trying to fight me or entertain me, little one? <laughs> okay, well, uh, there you go. Um, I don't think we're supposed to blast her with the nacho cheesier gun. I'll win because the boss is Salsa Verde. Peter Jacob is voiced by Michael Bell, a.k.a. The Fear. Ow. Am I too close? Does she only do that when I'm close to her? Okay, hang on. Okay, here we go. Please don't do that. I like my sanity. I think. Man, even the three point spell drains so much magic. Or just like the seven point still drain just as much. I guess I could find out. Uh, no, it does not drain just as much. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Now it's this phase I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing with. And it's five points, so I feel like I don't need... Um, should I maybe like a damage field or something? But then that's so much magic that I just don't have to spare. Equip that. Move, please. Nope. Oh, that's my fault for getting too close. So I need these guys to vanish, I think, because otherwise they just eat hits. Maybe, okay, when she starts to do that, I have to get closer to her. And then I can probably still hit her with the three-point spell. But I think if I do it too, well, too soon, she starts blasting me with that. Like, if I get too close. I do have a spell that recovers magic, but it's not really effective. Is, is it not, like, just a... a um... Like, you just break even with it? Okay. It didn't work! Why is it not working? Do I need the five point spell for that, that bit then? Ugh. How irksome. Maybe tiers five and seven are better. I feel like there's an equal chance that that's good advice and that you're just wanting me to do it so I can see how disappointing it is. <laughs> I should have enough magic now, right? Ow. This poor guy's getting winded. Okay. I am totally baffled why it's not hitting her. Does anybody figure out why it's not working? Is I am at a loss. My magic is, is very low. Uh, I don't have enough magic. The guys are like Kirby guys where I'm supposed to eat them. I thought, ow, these zombos are just here to get in my way. Uh, I'm not in good shape. I would like to heal, but... With what? Hmm. I'm gonna heal for now. That's all I can heal. What do you mean you never played this? Oh, you've watched a playthrough. That still counts. You've seen it in action. I ain't here to gatekeep. Hmm. Is this gradually? Yeah, it's recovering my magic just very slowly, but... I think at this point my sanity couldn't get any lower. Okay. 
and I moved while I was trying to cast it. Okay, I ruined it. Well, that's terrible. Uh, my health is going down because my sanity is outy. Ugh. I might actually have to save this for next time. As much as I don't want to have to save it for next time, but I need to rest my wrists. Because my hands are getting stiff. Ow. Also, this poor guy is suffering. You look this up. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Why is it not, like, are the zombies eating the hits? I don't get what's going on. Ugh, yeah, I may... Ow. Shaking up my wrist right now. Vulnerable after the zombies appear, so just after it summons them, that's when I attack? Oh, uh, I thought it had to be just before, or just, uh, before it summons the zombies. Well, let me try living for one more round here. I can't even heal, I have no juice. No health. No sanity. Just like real life. Don't kill them, make sure I'm closest to the guard. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, I can't cast it because I have no juice. Maybe I can, like, just struggle out enough magic before they catch up to me. Come on, Peter, you could do it. You could do it. I believe in you. <laughs> okay, yeah, now she's starting to vaporize me, and I can't run away because I have no stamina. Yeah, I think... I'm going to die, so I might actually have to save this for the beginning of next week's stream. I hope that's okay, but I really need to rest my wrists. I'm sorry, it's carpal tunnel, so I have to be very careful. I hate leaving off in a boss fight, though. Ooh. It flashed green briefly. Okay. What a cliffhanger. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave this for next week. I'm so sorry. I want to keep going, but my wrist demand that I rest them. I have to shake up my hands. I wish I could spend my energy more on streaming and not my wrist getting eroded through my job. But what can you do, huh? Well, I will come back to this with fresh mind and body next time. So I will be all fully dexterous for next Tuesday and I can crush the Guardian now that I know when to time my spells. Thank you, Endora, because I had completely the wrong idea. I thought you had to attack her before she summons the zombies and not right after. Streaming is a job and being a barista for fun. You know, I've worked with people that have been like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to be a barista for, for fun. I'm just going to do it as like a chill little side hustle. And then they realize how miserable it is. And they're like, oh, you yeah, actually know. It's not like all those coffee shop fanfics I've read. Which, by the way, I don't get the appeal of. I'm not faulting people for enjoying coffee shop AUs, but I can't, I can't do it. I just, ugh, why? Why would you want that? Anyway, um, I'm going to ice down my wrist. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for Eternal Darkness. Um, next week, we will defeat the Guardian. And uh, Friday will be more Wind Waker. I'd still really like to do a Mario Kart stream at some point, but I'm not sure when that will be just because of my wrists. So maybe when I finish one of these games, we'll do that. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, it'll be fun to get yelled at for no reason, right? <laughs> just be a barista for fun. Anyway, have a wonderful night, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.